I noticed this thing on the side of my screen too. Uh, in the quest log, I, I can get more details on it. The Aurora Project, right? We've already done the collective effort contract, the United by One contract. Completing the Sea Star contract allows us to build a launch platform. So that's that contract from Malachite. And so the game actually, the progression is kind of locked uh, on this too. So there might be some additional benefits that go with this uh, if we were to do this. And it's again, 200,000, but we need to get to the part where we can make nanotubes. So to make nanotubes, uh, I believe it's gonna require us to have the assembler. So if I go like this, I think the nanotubes, now it looks like, we, yeah, we use carbon fiber with silicon to create the nanotubes, but I need the assembler. That's gotta be in the research tree for engineering, uh, but I don't see it in here yet. So uh, maybe it's, you know, after one of these, maybe it's after this one. Hopefully it's after this one. Um, the only one we're going to unlock here though, but when this completes, the only thing we're going to see new is this because you have to have both of these to get this one. And actually probably you need this one too, to get this one. So this one's probably a really big research project, uh, cause you need like three different ones to unlock it. Yeah. Mm, okay, cool. I'm going to let this run for just a little bit here. Uh, I need to, uh, kind of assess the situation here. Also, there's a lot of regolith on the ground. And I can have them start picking it up. It's not super important that they do so uh, because they do periodically bring stuff to the pressing module anyway. And there's 34 in there, right? But if I do this, that will prioritize all the drones to picking up regolith and bringing it to this location. So if I ever feel like I want to clean up the place a little bit, all I got to do is make this a priority and all the drones will just go around picking up regolith and putting it in here. Uh, likewise, for the uh, rare, mat rare metals and stuff too, same thing. You can do this. And if I do that, then they'll, of course, prioritize bringing that stuff into there too, which I probably wouldn't need to do it for the machine. I could probably do it for this instead. It would just bring it into that storage if I do that too. Oh, wait, is that taking it out? Not taking it out, right? Is there even a... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Hang on. Hey, wait, 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 wait. There's this. Hang on. Um. Um. Why? I can't connect that. It doesn't let me connect that. Wait a minute. Why am I unable to connect this? That's weird. I've been able to connect things at a point blank range for like every single time, except not this one. Huh. Wait a minute now. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's tear this down. I might be able to do this in a straight line after all. Um, you know what? I'm going to tear this down. And in fact, now that I have this, I could just move this all the way over and leave even more room for manufacturing, right? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to tear this down. Uh, let's do that. And then, uh, we're going to move it for one. And then I, apparently I can't connect that, which is really weird. So, okay. We'll take uh rare minerals factory. We'll go like this. And I'll put this, I need to leave a little bit of room though. So I'm going to have to move it a little bit this direction. Uh, I can go one up though, right? That was the whole idea. Yeah. We can go one up, I guess. No, I don't want to go one up. I'll make you a deal. It's not really my deal, but I'll make you a deal. I'm going to go here. But one up is going to let me do this in a straight line. Does it matter? No. Tell yourself it doesn't. Believe it. Believe. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to do like this. And then bulk storage can go here. Now, if I do that, it's like right on top of it. So I'd have to go here. I think that's still okay. I'm moving it over more, right? I think that's still a good idea to move that over. Um, the problem with this position is that if I do want to have two of these, and I don't know why I would ever need two of these because you're not extracting it. It's just the drones doing it. So yeah, I won't need two of these. Yeah, I, I'm not going to need two of them. We're going to slide this all the way over. I'm going to leave this thing curving. I'm, I'm fine with it, I guess. But um, we're going to put this all the way up against the, the end here. And then uh, I want this to now go from this side. I need I need one space. So that means that this belt now doesn't line up anymore. 
right? That's not what I want to do at all. Not sure how that happened. But yeah, this is going to have to be like this now. Don't kill me. <laughs> all right. Nobody, nobody cares about this, right? Nobody thinks this is a bad idea. I mean, if I need more room here, honestly, what I should do is probably bring this belt all the way back and go right alongside this and then up, right? Like hug this so that this, this resource constantly pushes into there. That's probably the better call. I got the cash. I know I just wasted money, but that is the better call, right? Objectively. I feel like objectively that is the better call. Let's do that. We're going to take this belt all the way back. So I have enough room to make this happen. I know I'm, I'm already going back on my be very efficient with how you place things, but I mean, I can also just do it this way. That also takes up more room on that side. I'd rather hug this, I think. Yeah. So let's go right here. Are you sure I can't plug that in? Yes, I can. Now, why wouldn't it let me do that earlier? That's what I wanted. Now I'm just slammed up here, which is, I guess, still fine. Um, and if I want to make even more space for all of this, then what I would do here, I guess, is this. Might look better anyway, I guess. Whatever. Uh, we come down like that. And then over from there. So we just kind of curve it sooner. And then this comes out all the way through here. And then this would hug. Well, it doesn't hug, right? It doesn't because of these. You want the in line with this. That's why we didn't do it that way. So this still needs to be where it was. Yep. This still needs to be where it was. Wow, I'm just wasting money today, aren't I? <laughs> I mean, whatever. I mean, there's it's growing pains. We had uh, you got to figure things out, and sometimes uh, you had to pay tuition to figure things out. Where is my? There it is. Uh, so we will go like that. There we go. And then uh, this will just go all the way up like this. Yeah. Now it's completely out of the way. It's not sitting in the middle here, which will probably have to be moved anyway. Now it's completely out of the way, all the way up to here. Because now that does not interfere with this expansion at all. That's fine. All right, whatever. We'll do it like that. Fine. Are we fine with this? I'm fine with this. As long as I see the... Nope, this is not connected anymore. Because I deleted this? Why did I do that? I don't recall doing that. It's done now, right? Slag? Tell me you're showing up right here. I want to see that. Show up. There it is. Yep, cool. Okay, let's build this again, please, drones. Uh, now that it is actually properly connected with a belt here, uh, that should be no problem. All the belts, the belt should actually work now. All right, it's time. I'm doing it now. Expedition Center. That's happening. We're going to put this out here. Uh, I'm not sure about the spacing for it, but I want to leave a good amount of spacing on this side. So I'm going to say we go right about here with it. Should be fine. We'll place this right here. Expedition Center is going right there, okay? So with that done, we can also place other things that go outside too, like the repeater, for example. Uh, this is going to provide communications with lunar orbital satellites necessary to communicate with other facilities and for transportation and navigation. So I would need something like this too. I'm not sure where the best place for this is, but there's nothing really going on behind the Expedition Center. And so I'm thinking we probably place it over here. I'm fine with that. The other thing I could do is maybe place it all the way over here if it lets me do it. Mm, I mean, it might let me place it here because that way it's it's already on the existing line that's run. Whoops, that's not the right button. Bring this back over. The important thing is that the structure is not. Is this yours? Huh? You better not. You're not the brightest, don't you? Okay. <laughs> so this is how it warns you that you're trying to do something on land you don't control. You better not. Is this yours? Ready to get sued? <laughs> Ready to get sued? <laughs> yeah, no, I can't do that. Uh, so I can't, I can't do it there, but I can do all of these. Uh, I can get these things out of the way too. So we'll, we'll go ahead and break those things down too. Maybe I'll put the repeater over here. It seems like it's sufficiently out of the way. We, we might do things over here. You know, there, there might be something to build on this side. So I'll give that a rest for now. Uh, we are also expanding to more machines and everything like that too. So why don't we also go ahead and add uh, two more medium solar panels 
uh, or we could just replace existing ones and that's that's a pretty good idea too i suppose but uh we'll go for now i'm gonna go ahead and put in like that and then i need to salvage that to get that out of the way so we'll do that too and uh can't prioritize anything that you salvage you can't uh cancel salvage projects nothing like that but just a little bit more power generation during the day would ensure that the batteries uh stay full uh, because we're about halfway through the day now and we have not really recovered half we haven't yet recovered half of what we lost so we are slowly starting to see a uh, reality where our battery will die and we can't fully replenish it that just means we need more generation so we'll get ahead of that before it becomes a major problem uh, looks like I got a couple of things here that are just kind of lingering. There you go. Cool. And then with this thing, we need to go ahead and connect it to power. There we go. And now it can operate one more time. Go ahead and prioritize this really quick just to get that running again. And then I want to... Well, I can't do the drone settings just yet on that, but we could have drone settings. Yeah, they're allowed to bring this in. Good. So as soon as that's done, then fine. But they're probably going to just focus on this expedition center the entire time, which is not a big deal. I need to run those expeditions anyway, so it's fine. Speaking of expeditions, God, I forgot about it already. Uh, this way, please. We go this way, please. And then let's scan it. Where is it? Yep, right there. Let's go and move to the spot. <laughs> Got to find it before the next day. The day is almost done. I just wasted the entire day just sitting here. I need it. What I think I need to do really is just kind of and it's, it's hard to, to to do this uh sometimes but i think what i really need to do is stop running at max speed take it a little slower like calm it down so that i don't have days wasting because if, if you're playing at max speed your actions are slower right i mean your your time passage is is different that way there he goes um and so you're like you're actually doing less per day yourself as a player because your time is passing faster uh we've received a distress signal from one of the stations number 23 according to the transmission the personal the personnel survived but they need materials to repair the damage so send an expedition uh select the scout rover which is not really what's gonna investigate okay that's what we need to do investigate this okay that's what i'm doing okay yep there it is uh i'm james sullivan station manager of charlie 23 thank you for finding us we need your assistance in repairing the station and preventing further destruction. Our urgent requirement is industrial materials, which we used to get from Evergreen, but their facilities are no longer reachable. Though we had, that's the, that's the place where we were, where it was destroyed, right? Our, our, the entire surface base that we arrived at was Evergreen. Uh, although we have ample food supplies, repairing the station must take precedence as the damage is jeopardizing its integrity. We'll send you a list of required supplies. Okay, over and out, I guess. Uh, what is What are the required supplies? 50 steel, titanium, and these are basic. These are very basic. We can do that. Uh, I need my cargo truck. Yep. And then I need to just fill all. We can do that. So we can't do that yet. We need the expedition center. But once we have the expedition center, we can do that, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll just get the expedition center all the way. Titanium plates, micro circuits, all those things are done. Uh, speaking of which, micro circuits. That's something that we can actually make ourselves uh, right through here. So let's get that set up too. Micro circuits are right here. It's silicon and the rare earth stuff. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we get the micro circuits to be about here, is what I'm thinking. We can start that process like right here in this spot. And uh, the nice thing about this spot. And maybe just one over. I think one over is necessary. But we start it here. Okay. And then from this storage, what we want to do is we want to create... We want to create another storage for this. So you're going to come out this way to go up to the top. But you're going to also you're going to go this way to, to get into here. And we can't cross the belts. It's like crossing the streams. It's just a no-go. Uh, so we need to go here. And then we'll have another storage here probably the to, to kind of facilitate that transmission maybe to, to store more silicon i think is probably a good idea so why don't we have we'll increase the storage i'm not using big storage yet the small storage is fine with me it gives me more control so i'll do that and then um i'll just have ooh, it needs to be it needs to be further away if i'm using storage though right can this connect directly like this 
It looks like it can, yeah. All right, that's pretty good. If it can connect directly, that's fine. And then it goes into that side. It looks like it does. Yeah. All right, good. And then this belt can go into there. Okay. So all this silicon will now go to that side. Start filling that up. And then this, I need to verify once this is done, uh, silicon. This will go into here. And then the rare elements, we will have a storage for this. And I, again, I don't think it's necessary to have a big one, but we can put that storage right here next to this. That's probably fine. This can go in like that. And then out this side comes our supply for these. Okay. And then you go and store that. So now we can make our own microcircuits from this machine. And then we just need another uh, over here. It probably works better at being right here. Yeah. So this is going to be in the way of future machines. So we'll put this right here and then you will go there. Okay, cool. Lots of things to build today. Then, uh, we have the expedition center that's happening up there. We have a lot of regoliths and stuff I'd love to clean up. And you know, that's just going to take time. They're no, they're no longer doing it to the pressing module now because they're busy doing the expedition center. If they have anything else to build, they prioritize that. <sighs> you know, I really, I genuinely thought they'd be done with this first, but it's fine. We're going to also put them or tell them to build in the sciences. I want the sociology lab. Yeah, there's enough room for all these things. Cool. So I want this lab to be in this corner. I want the engineering lab to be over in this corner. Like this. Is this the right orientation? Uh, it might be here. No, I think this is good. Yeah, that works. Yes, I think that works fine. I'm just trying to see the, the blueprint layout, how it works. So the, the path to walk up is on this side. So perhaps because right here, they, they approach from, from the door, they go up like that. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So with this one, I would want this to be approached from this side. Is there any way to flip this? Is that big wall thing? I don't know if I like that too much, but. Yeah, we'll have it. We'll have it be like this. And I really like this one, though. We'll, we'll just do this. It's fine. Yeah, whatever. Um, we'll have those two labs like this. Once they're done building those, we'll tear the fundamental science lab down and we'll just build that in the back corner here. And then this corner can be something else, right? We can do whatever over there. Uh, and then we need to make sure there's enough room, which there will be for a door right here. And then that door leads into the other compartment, which will also have a door here. To, to lead into that too. And then these beds can be moved at that point too. Okay, cool. So yeah, I guess I'm just waiting for them to finish this stuff. At least the organic growth is done. And that brings us to the assembler modular terminal factory brings us to the assembler. Excellent. That's what we want. Absolutely. So we'll get that done too. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't need the RTG. Let's get the compute stuff done. Cause it's a really small amount of science. And I only 60. Jeez. Wow. RTG would never finish in time anyway. I actually kind of want to make sure because we lose this 60 in 71 days. The data conveyor three, I want to see. Yeah, 25 days on this. We're going to put this first because I'm going to need that before I need the data center. Look at these guys, man. Like if they have any project to construct, that is their only task. Even if I make it a, a low priority, I bet they still do it, right? They have construct, they have construction on these, you know, you can construct those too. But this is important because I want to be able to send a truck out that way. Not enough power to run the module. Which module are you referring to? Storage is full there. Mining drones aren't doing anything. Are you guys really done? Yeah, you kind of are. Um, let's give you a, a task here. There's some more iron here. So we can get some more iron added to the belt too here. So we'll do about like this. We'll just leave that open for now. We'll have you drill into this area. Okay. And then hopefully we'll be able to connect that iron to the belt as well. So we'll have at least there's something for driller bots to do now. Although objectively, it would probably be better to have more carriers right now. At this particular instance, I actually think that's a better option. We're going to do that instead. 
it's hard for me to get the the audio right let me know in the comments how the audio has been has it been too loud has the the game been not loud enough i keep adjusting the levels the, the balance between songs is the hardest part because the machinery is you can't hear it at all until you get close and then once you get close it's actually really loud right so there's a huge difference between that which this makes sense that's how it should be i guess um but th there's also a big difference in the audio of, for different songs some songs are a lot quieter than others um uh, you know the, the balancing and that stuff um so i am interested in hearing you know sort of i, I guess I'll, i'm not really looking for a pat on the back so much as i'm looking for a um what do they call that in the corporate world uh a performance evaluation <laughs> on on how i've done with the audio yeah, that's exactly what i'm looking for we're actually going to get the uh third smelter for iron up and running because it looks to me like we're still not able to do it fast enough even with the existing uh upgrades that we have and we are research locked behind that so we're going to work on that too uh and then this one here is operating effectively uh but this one here is filling up so we can also go ahead and do this on the titanium end as well so we'll go ahead and invest in that uh and then what we want for this conveyor just to keep it balanced is we're going to go that way with it and then uh the conveyor here on this side would then pump into here to connect that to iron and then the iron goes over top of this and around so we will get this uh happening as well to create additional steel um i'm not I am, I'm actually not sure if I need to upgrade this one. With this supply being split, it may not be required anymore. Um, so we'll take a look at that. But it might be required to upgrade this belt now. So I'll just... It's a very cheap upgrade to do. So I can just go ahead and do that now. That seems fine. Uh, we can upgrade that too. Just to make sure that that's happening. And so when they finish this, we'll have uh, additional iron coming out too. Because we're... Again, we need like 30... What is it? 3,700 iron... Uh, steel. Keep calling it iron. Uh, 3,700 steel for the, for that project. It's kind of wild <laughs> to, to need that much, but that's, that's why we need to scale it up. So yeah, that expedition center is taking all of their time. Oh, it's, it's got all the materials done. So now they just need to come over here and do it. I, I like how they stopped. As soon as they delivered all the materials, they just flat out forgot about the damn thing. All right. Now we need power pushed in this way too. So we have these power poles. They're kind of going around right but now they're kind of getting in the, in the way here so uh what i think i'm going to do is add a new set of power poles that go this way we'll have this be the front end of our of our solar setup and then we'll have these power poles kind of go in a straight line this direction and then uh we'll have maybe like that and then maybe one more over is fine and this way we can then get this hooked up with other stuff in the future but we can have that hooked up there so additional power poles sending power over to the expedition center and this requires 75 this is going to take 75 consumption that's a huge amount of consumption um so getting additional batteries getting additional solar all of that is going to be definitely required so it's a good thing that we are uh working on that now too i want the power i want that expedition center running so i can do this so can we uh yeah i know it's kind of annoying to do it that way let's do it this way boom and then boom see if they can go ahead and build these things it's also going to be daytime pretty soon so we'll go ahead and prioritize the solar panels as well and then yeah mark three belts are going to be great to have uh we're about to have more iron injected into the system as well right because the iron is, is right here so we're about to have that and then i believe there was another iron source i thought there was another iron source over here um we'll take a risk on the on the power for now it's fine Let's see if we can find titanium nothing my god that's annoying <laughs> I just need I need more I need more titanium somewhere out here is titanium and I will find it there it is Whew. boom all right oh zooming in my camera did not work all right we found the titanium it's way over here but I desperately need it so we're going to get that cleared out and then it's a it's a really nice to have it on this side too uh because it means I can bring that from straight over there I can bring it right up next to this and pop it on this belt so that's really nice so we'll we'll plan on that being a thing we'll bring it over here straight from this side and we'll just draw a line out to that side yep right there perfect and that is where the titanium will come through from us over there perfect uh finding another source of titanium was necessary so so necessary uh you know, I'm starting to think I don't even need this thing. If I'm being honest. 
because they're just bringing it right to this machine anyway. Is there ever going to be a time where we need more than 240 in this? I don't know, man. I don't think so. I just, I just don't think this is required. I already paid for the damn belt, though. You know, and I'm really only just missing the iron and the, and the titanium. Yeah, what's my resources like? I don't I have this thing collapsed the whole time. We are near the end of aluminum, and that's going to fill up our storage. Do we have any more contracts for aluminum? 700. That's not bad. And it's science. We need that, too. They're only paying us in science, in fact. Um, I mean, it's 60 for 90 days. 90 cycles, whatever that is. This is a good one. Ooh, yeah. Get all 500 aluminum for this. Uh, we don't have enough micro circuits, though. That's the problem. This is an indefinite timeline. That's not bad. Uh, yeah. We could make that happen. We don't have any other use for this aluminum, but just because we really should shop around, because if there's something we can complete that's worth a portion of that money, like right here, for example... This is something we can complete and get 68 now, as opposed to however long it'll take to make 50 microcircuits. We should probably do this one instead. 17 days. Oh, wait a minute. This one says show location. Technical upgrade, moon base. The oxygen units at the lunar base are getting out of date and are about to go out of service. The, uh, the organization has placed an order for high tech materials. To, so this is on the surface. We need to bring this to here. That's cool. But that's part of the, the travel time for that. Oh, so this truck could be doing that while we're... Okay, tell you what. Expedition Center is about to come online, right? So we want to send resources here to help these guys. Uh, and then from there, we can then send out to this one. It looks like this is kind of a... It's got 76 days to complete. Oh, but the contract's only available for four more days. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Four more days on that one. And then this one is no time limit. Okay, so this one is a, a higher priority. So we want to load up a truck basically with this. The question I have is, can I even do that without the cargo bay? That's the big thing because there's a the logistics here. There's a cargo dock, unloading and storage area for resources brought in by truck. Now, I think... The reason for this building to exist is so that you can unload things and then they go on belts. But I think the drones can still do it. But if you don't want drones to have to do it, then you can unload them from belts like this. And so maybe if I wanted to load stuff, we could have like storages, although there doesn't seem to be an input. This seems to be a purely an, an unloading station. There's no intake for this. But what I was, th what I thought this building was, is like, as I bring those resources to the surface and store them up top, we could have the source, the resources, like say steel or titanium or whatever, we could have that coming off the belts into this building so that when the truck comes to load, it's already there. The drones don't have to bring it there because it's been brought in by a belt. I thought that's what this was. But again, you can see that all of these ports are outputs. So that's not the case. This would be a nice way for us to unload a truck onto belts so that th we can bring resources back like that. Okay. Uh, hauling drone configurator is interesting. Maybe this is something that we could use. This seems pretty small. It's very lightweight. doesn't cost a lot. I can put this maybe right over here. Might be, might be interesting to put this over here. Uh, but without knowing what it is. Yeah. Can we get this salvaged please guys? please i don't have these solar panels hooked up to the grid pretty please there you go there you go and then i want this solar panel oh, this one right here come on now you can do it little little drone that could it's almost daytime almost done there then on the double please for this one and then we go power here 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 and then i guess i would just connect it to the rest of the chain right at this point, it's all hooked up to the same thing. Yeah. I could just do that and hook it up to the same thing. That's fine. So now all these things are connected, even though this is a pending construction. I believe these things will still power the grid. Yeah, we, we dropped power huge. We're down to 22% now. So we definitely needed additional generation. Um, and I'm thinking we probably should focus a little bit more on that too. 
for the sake of our own stability. Um, I can get rid of that. And then I think this is in our way as well. Uh, we do have an extra connection point on this, but I will still need another power pole. So I think I'll go like this to create that power pole in a place where it's not going to be in the way. And then we can lay the solar panel here once this is out of the way. But we'll probably do that at night since we're not generating anything from there anyway. Okay, we got our first resource full. Okay, so this storage is full. No additional concrete can be placed here. Now we're still creating it because we have internal storage and it's not completely full yet. So I've caught this right away. Uh, 36 can be stored in here before it stops producing. Likewise, we have four out of 64 here and zero out of 64 here. So these things uh, are also pretty full on slag now. They're actually waiting for the silicon. That's fantastic news. That means we can upgrade these uh, as soon as we can uh, get additional silicon brought in. So, uh, which I'm hooking up with that. So I'll get more silicon that way. Uh, and then we'll be able to proceed with that. Um, so we're, we'll upgrade as needs uh, come in. Um, the thing though, that we need to do is, is bring this to the surface, right? So let's go over to logistics and the engine is going to be, I think maybe it'd be better for me to look at this from the surface view. Maybe let's, let's take a look. So conveyor engine. So we have the, the concrete is right here. And I love how I can zoom in and it zooms in on the bottom screen too. It's such such a good implementation I'm, I'm a huge fan of how they did this um so what i'm thinking is i want this to be like right here yeah like right here would be good if i did this let's click this and take a look at it so this comes in right here this would be our supply of concrete being brought up to the surface and it's right next to that power pole which also means it's not going to be the power pole is not going to be in the way uh, we could then take the conveyor belts and bring this this direction okay and we bring it over here and maybe we pop it let's say the conveyor belt can go here we then take a large storage this is where i'm going to do the large storage we take this large storage and we can place it right here and now we have the ability to use it kind of wherever we want um and i think maybe i'll pull this back a little bit it doesn't need to be quite so forward so maybe right here is fine and we place this right here this large storage is where our concrete ends up okay so that gets built there this gets built it requires modular frames to complete this construction and then the storage will just get built whenever it can get built so now we need six modular frames can we make those do we have the technology this is modular terminals we can make carbon fiber from the organics might want to look at that too uh, I don't think we can make those yet. I believe that's in the assembler. Yes. Titanium and concrete, which wouldn't you know it, we're making those pretty close by, right? Gee, I wonder what will go here, right? Um, but that's that still needs an assembler, which we're not quite to yet. If I take a look at our research, the assembler, I thought, yeah, it's, it's on here. Um, so we're started on that research, but it's not quite there. And it's going to be a very long time before we get it because... Our income for green science is abysmal. It's pretty bad. And uh, like I was saying earlier, we're going to run out of this stuff. And that's that's what I was talking about. It's going to get very slow soon. Uh, and so we only have 10 days left on that United by One goal. The science modules and the rover are providing us with constant fundamental science. So that's going to be fine. We're always going to have blue science. And then the rover is only providing us with 59 engineering science. So the rest of that stuff is temporary, albeit crust research has got 66 days left. But this, this is so slow. We'll get conveyor mark three soon. Um, but this is where concrete will come out. All right. Now, in the meantime, I want these things producing as fast as they can. And so it might be a good idea to find a contract that involves sending concrete. So let's see if we can find one that want some people that want. Oh, well, wouldn't you know it? Look at this green science. They only want concrete and they want 500 of it. Jesus. 
Maybe we just send this 500 to the laser. <laughs> I think that's probably better to do that, right? We have this operational. It's powered on and everything. We should just send it to the damn laser. <laughs> I think that's probably what the responsible person would do, right? Who wants to be responsible? Uh, laser gun over here. Set up an expedition. Okay. Cargo truck's going to have an expedition. And we are going to send... Not that much. We can't haul. Man, that'll actually fit that much. That's crazy. We want to send. Yeah, like 435 is fine. All right. It says I have 609. So like whatever. I can just send 513 concrete. Right. Uh, we can send a few of our titanium plates while we're at it too. Might as well. If we're making a trip out of this, we might as well. So let's send that over. Uh, and then, you know, God, there's so I feel like this is a pathetic amount of steel, but yeah. So we'll kind of do this. Sure. Uh, let's do that, please. And so we'll set up that expedition. Now, how does that even work? Does it just magically have that? It looks like it's going to arrive here. Ah, and then does my drones have to bring that in? That's going to suck. I bet it does. I bet the drones have to bring this. Because remember, this building has uh, a belt in too. So there's an input on this that you would want to, you know, get input in this. And this would be one of those things, I think, where the concrete would go this way too, right? And then in. Ugh. That's gross. I did not plan this, but this is interesting. Uh, because there's four belt connections on this, I could have this come all the way over like this and stick into here. And then on this same port, I don't know if this thing is smart enough to do that. So it'd be interesting to, to hear if it is. Is this smart enough to sort, right? Is this going to sort? Because if it does, and it only sends, you know, concrete this way and, you know, steel that way or whatever, well, that just became a lot more efficient because now I can get these resources all just kind of like I could put silicon directly into the side port here. I could put the titanium plates into the side port here. That kind of thing would be pretty cool. Yeah. But either way, we're going to need these modular frames. So uh, I don't have a whole lot of money, but I, I will need those. So six of these are required. And man, are they expensive. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive. Six modular frames. Uh, buy. We'll bring six of them down to the surface. Okay, cargo pod ready. Yep, bring that down uh, right over here. Uh, and they can actually deliver it to the site here too, I think. They can build it on both. Or do they need... Oh no, is it a separate supply? Wait, wait, wait. I think it's a separate supply. There's 40. Okay, 40 concrete delivered here. And then this one has... Yes. That is six on the top and six on the bottom. So I need six more. Ick. <laughs> well, the good news is I really don't need it yet. So we can, we can put off on that a little bit because they're going to take the concrete out of that storage now. That's just great because now these things aren't going to get filled. Uh, the downside is though, they really could be loading it from this storage instead. If this was done, they'd be going back and forth like this right now, which is way faster than doing what they're doing. That is what it is. This is not connected to power, which is a problem. We'll do that. Uh, and then you will now generate even more. Yes more steel whatever just pay for it more steel needed there we go three of these things running now that's what we need and we still don't have this done because heaven forbid we bring that steel here instead of and they're probably loading that truck now right that's what they got to do they're bringing all that resource to here and that's gonna take forever uh i don't want to say this is a mistake but uh I'm regretting this. <laughs> I'm regretting. I want this over here now. I want this to be right in front of the door now. But I think long term with belt fed, like being belt fed, I think this is still going to be a better location for this. But it's going to take a while. Uh, it'd be nice to have additional drones. I think that'd be a really good, nice thing to have. But we don't have that. We don't get to just have whatever we want. Uh, why don't we have just one driller bot though? Getting one driller means I can finally start moving this way to get additional titanium. That's still needed. Um, just making sure they're not going to... I think this is a low, pretty low priority. 
Um, maybe, maybe this just to get the iron to be connected and, and to get it. But like, I would want to send it this way anyway, not, not to take up this space. So like maybe this is fine for us, like a single driller to do just to give me iron on this belt. But otherwise this is what I want. I want this done all the way out. Yep. All the way up the middle there like that is what I'd like to have done instead. Get this connected so that we can work that titanium source. Way more important. There's additional iron over here. I'm not even entirely sure what I would do with that one. I guess send it around this way, right? Yeah, and hook it up to this belt and then that hooks to this belt. And We wanna find a way to connect the belts in such a way to where we limit the length of the upgraded segment because the upgraded segments cost a lot more money. So. If I'm going to bring, you know, a one source down here, like from one extractor, if I connected here, then I need this segment upgraded. But if I go over and I connected here, then I need this segment upgraded. And that's a shorter segment than upgrading this and all of this. So I think, I think that's how I kind of want to think about it. Even then, if I went underground, which is, uh, I could maybe just have it be imported directly into here, but probably not. All right. Mark three belt done in four days. We're wasting blue science right now. So how about the assembler has all the blue, huh? Cool. Uh, uh, I don't know. Excavation speed. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I want any of that stuff. Moon bar. You can relax and socialize with colleagues increases the tourist attractiveness of the base. I'm not ready to think about tourism yet, man. I got a freaking meteor going, coming to Earth in 1400 days. You know? I don't think that's something I should be looking into right now. Huh. Well, I guess we'll just put... Uh, I guess we'll just take the fuel generator. You know, there might be... Uh, maybe the battery's located in that one. I don't know. We'll take that research instead. Uh, so yeah, you, we need you to do something else. How about we take you since we already know what's going on over here. Let's take you over to this control tower here. We'll see what this mission is all about over here. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure how long this video is already because <laughs> it's taken a while. Um, but I'll tell you what, why don't you guys come back for the next one? And uh, I'm sure we'll have the stuff delivered for this truck to take stuff to this ridiculous, uh, you know, laser base that we're going to have to do, right? I'm sure we'll have enough at that point. We still have, even after bringing all that stuff, we still have 500 concrete here. So I'm liking how that's working, but I really do want it sent to the surface. And this thing is going to help me do it. But now that I see how this is, I I'm really hoping that this thing sorts. I don't think it does. But if we had a sorter here, uh, cause this is expensive to build that elevator. It'd be nice. But the, the plan was always to have elevator, 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 elevator. Like there's supposed to be like four or five of these up here to send the construction materials and all the materials that we would usually need for contracts and the materials that we would need for the missions and stuff that are on the surface of the moon. All those materials will end up on the surface so that the drones don't have to do this back and forth up and down thing is what I was hoping for. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you guys. I hope you'll join me for the next one where we'll hopefully have a lot more titanium. Okay, bye-bye.